Mom's gonna make me see your popcorn. I <laughs> have come back to life! <laughs> Do not cross this line. Oh my god, he crossed the line. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amy from Our Amiable Farmhouse. And today I'm gonna show you how we do a movie theater styled popcorn made at home and made healthy. Here in our little farmhouse, one of our favorite snacks is popcorn. And I think a lot of people have forgotten the lost art of making popcorn and how healthy it can be. Now, generally, we will make popcorn using our air popper because it's fast and convenient and there's less mess. But when we're feeling extra fancy and wanna put a little extra effort into the process, then we will pull out the big guns, meaning my big silver uh, stainless steel stock pot, and we'll make a good batch of movie theater popcorn. The easiest and fastest way is an air popper, and then we just you know, melt some coconut oil and drizzle that over and some salt, and good to go. Quick, easy snack the kids can make themselves. When we have a little extra time, we'll get the big stainless steel stock pot out. I'll preheat my stock pot on the stove at about um, high or just under high setting and to the stock pot I will add about three good spoonfuls uh, like tablespoon size spoonfuls um, of red palm kernel oil now this stuff is super good super good for you and it makes the popcorn taste amazing like the movie theater kind of popcorn and it is yum-o. And red palm kernel oil is considered a healthy fat. So, you're good to go. The red palm oil is really healthy for you. You'll see the beautiful reddish orange color that it has, and that's because it's high in beta carotene. It's got a lot of vitamin A, vitamin E, and tocotrienols. It's the word of the day. <laughs> some kind of chemical compound containing four different kinds of vitamin E. I don't know. It's healthy and it's good for us. <laughs> it's similar to olive oil, but it has um, a higher smoke point and thus uh, more stable when cooking with. So it remains uh, healthy when you cook with it, like as in popcorn. And it makes the popcorn taste amazing. like. The smell is like you're in a theater, a movie theater. And when the kids smell it, they come running. They're like, oh yeah, mom's making popcorn, woohoo! It's really good. When the oil is melted, I simply add one cup or a heaping cup of popcorn kernels to my stock pot. Kind of swish that around and that just kind of coats every kernel with some oil. Put the lid on and I wait until I start hearing the sound of popping. Once those kernels start to pop, make sure you really kinda uh, keep the stock pot shaking over the heat. As the popcorn starts to rapidly pop, you can hold the stock pot a little bit off of the burner if it starts to burn. When the popping starts to slow down, that's when I will take it off the burner, um, not completely, just holding it ever so slightly off of the burner. So it still is getting some heat and, and um, popping those kernels. When the popping has slowed to about two to three seconds in between pops, then I completely remove it from the heat and take the lid off carefully without dripping the collected condensation on the lid down into the popcorn because, well, as we all know, oil and water do not mix and then there'll be a reaction of popping, um, the splattery popping stuff into your face. And that's not fun for anyone. And that's it. Healthy popcorn made in like five minutes. 
it doesn't take very long at all. The most difficult part about this process is cleaning the stock pot. I mean, you know, oil. It doesn't come off easily. You just have to use a lot of hot water, uh, soap. And I find if I use baking soda, it really kind of helps cut that grease and help wash it away. So that's what I do. But besides that, it's really, really simple. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you liked what you saw here today, give me a thumbs up. It's the greatest compliment I could receive. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. Each week I bring a new video on simple food, simple living, simply handmade. Thank you so much for stopping by our amiable farmhouse. These are my kind of people. What's <laughs> what's your what's one of your favorite lines from the movie? Mm, inside Out. Oh, um, and the king first of, of the rock. <laughs> inside Out is the part where let's he's go like, kick some honey buns. First it was the Hawaiians, <laughs> and now you. <laughs> These are kind my kind of people. I know everybody's like. Ah, ah. I love new one. Let's go kick some honey buns. <laughs> I never want to see a naked man again. <laughs> Ooh, dance off. What? You guys want to dance off. Take it back. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ooh. <laughs> now throw it away. Throw it away. And then making the pizza. Making the pizza. Mm. I'm like, that's pizza. what I need to be learning. Eating the pizza. Eat Yo, what are you doing? I'm dancing. I'm distracting you, you big turtle blossom. <laughs> Let's pizza. go kiss Hans. Who, Who is, is this, this Hans? Hans? I love Olaf. My name's Grunion. Let's do one like The Grunion is mine. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> the Marvel movies. Ooh. Oh, more. Go Web. <laughs> go more. Web. It's like, what jam? what jam? Shazam. What oh, jam is my word. More. <laughs> More. <laughs> that was good. More. Sorry, <laughs> uh, it's just an accident. Stop smashing things. <laughs> just ask. <laughs> Next time, just ask. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I meant no, no disrespect. Longing you look into the eyes. Mom's gonna make me. <laughs> Mom's me. gonna make me! <laughs> yeah, I already did that. <laughs> Ten years ago. <laughs> um.